did it! Being in quarantine right now makes me miss the arcade and Techno Parrot emulator for the Coin Ops front end plug and play pack here. It gets you playing those arcade games that typically you had to go to Golf Land or you had to go to some sort of arcade, Dave and Buster's, whatever to play, but now you can play at the comfort of your home while you're social distancing. So in this video, we're gonna check out the Coin Ops add-on pack for Techno Parrot, which plays these awesome games, the latest graphics, these games are really cool. So in this video, I'll just show you how I added the add-on pack onto my Coin Ops Next base image. And then we're gonna play a ton of games, even some light gun games where you can use your mouse as the light gun, um, and then some racing games, and then that Star Wars game you saw in the beginning of the video. These games are really cool games. There's a lot of fun here, so let's check this out. So I did download the CoinOps Next Techno Parrot. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot where I go from there to my next. And I should just have to drop it into here, let's see. So this is the Techno Parrot add-on pack. And a lot of these other packs should be very similar in that all you need to do is control uh, copy those new folders and then drop it into the next build because the next build has all those core files you're going to need. All right, so we just transferred Techno Parrot. Let's just see how it loads on first boot. All right, techno. Wow, these games are sick. Especially right now. All comfort and safety.
Lock S foils in attack position. Accelerate to attack speed. Here they come. my first time playing this version of Tekken, it seemed really fast to me, like it was frame skipping, but maybe that's how it runs. Last things is you can just go into your Techno Parrot um, add-on here in Emulators Techno Parrot and just run it, run the UI on its own, and then uh, this is the Emulator Core, and you can just launch the games from here. Also, like for example, Sega Golden Gun, I had to go ahead and go to Controller Setup and add a Coin button. Just click in, and then like Coin Two, I'd have to hit like a button on my controller. Um, go ahead and save your settings, and then hit back. Um, 
But uh, that's it. There's also some uh, verify game, test menu, and then some of the games have different settings that you can change. Um, if you want to play network play, I don't know if that works or not. I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, but as far as you know, the region, do you want X input? Do you want it to be free play or do you want to use tokens? Do you want to be windowed view? You might want to do windowed if you have less of a powerful computer. That might actually make it run a little bit better. Um, and don't forget to save whenever you change any of that. All right, Techno Parrot add-on pack, A plus in my book. These games are awesome. These games, are just like playing MAME arcade games, like you'd have to buy a, a cabinet or you'd have to go to arcade to play these. So this is when emulation is at its best. And these games have great graphics, they run well, you have lots of settings you can play around with. And running on coin ops, which is a great, uh, easy plug and play front end for your computer. Um, I'm super, super happy with it. I, I loved making this video. I had, I had more fun playing these games than I do playing some of the other games because um, they offer a really great custom experience. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.